about the most popular engines in the JDM world. Indeed, all of you have thought of them, namely the RB26 DETT and the 2JZ GTE. These are engines from Toyota and Nissan, because indeed, both engines, this and the car, are one of the craziest masterpieces in the automotive world. RB26 and also 2JZ. Actually, we have discussed these two engines one by one in detail, so for those who haven't watched it yet, you can open the video. And now, let's talk about it, starting with the first one, namely, from the RB series belonging to Nissan. The RB series is a family of six-cylinder engines released by the Nissan Motor Company manufacturer, which has various capacities, from the lowest at 2-liter to the highest at 3-liter with the stock engine. These RB series include RB20, RB24, RB25, RB26, and RB30. However, what we will discuss is the engine that is applied to the Nissan GTR, which is the fiercest and the most insane, the Godzilla RB26 DETT. Then let's talk about the other side, 2JZ series. Those are engines, are no need to doubt anymore about popularity. Maybe it's just a few people who know the reason why Toyota created this very fierce engine. Of course, there are reasons and causes for everything. At that time, Nissan always occupied the highest ranking in the racing world with breakthrough cars and mighty engines, one of which was the Nissan GTR with its RB26 DETT. Because of that, Toyota, who feels rivaled, want to prove that they can make an engine that is not inferior to Nissan's RB engine by pushing the bulletproof 2JZ. Well, to make it easier for us to discuss and compare these two engines, we will divide them into three categories of these two machines. The first is power, reliability, and part availability. Let's talk about the RB26 first. The first one is called RB. You may also be familiar with this RB being a series of engines. The second one is the number 26 listed on this engine. This number 26 shows the engine capacity of 2.6 liter. The D means dual camshaft or also called DOHC. Then there is the letter E taken from the word EFI which stands for engine fuel injection. And the last letter is the letter TT, namely twin turbo or double turbocharger. But here we will have a question. Why we compare 2JZ which is the 26 liter RB version, isn't there also a 3 liter version? We'll explain later. Now we'll head to the Toyota side with its 2JZ GTE. Like its competitor, the RB26 DETT from Nissan, Toyota also makes the 2JZ engine with many versions, starting from the lowest 2.5 liter and the most prominent, and the popular series of 2JZ is the 3 liter version. And now we try to compare the two in terms of power. If we compare these engines, the RB and 2JZ come with factory standards and have the same power. On average, both are at 280 HP. But why just 280 HP? Isn't it more than 300? Let's explain the reason first. Limitations of this 280 HP The story begins in Japan in the 1990s. At that time, many people had accidents because of the increase in the power of a vehicle that was not regulated. And people at that time thought the accident was caused because the vehicle was too fast. And after that, the Japanese manufacturers negotiated and agreed that all manufacturers in Japan would not make cars that are not more than 280 HP. So this agreement is known as the Gentleman Agreement. But even so, you can also find the standard 2JZ with 320 HP for the USDM version. Well, let's take a lot for the power graph. RB26, in the graph from start to finish, there is no spike like its rival 2JZ. No wonder the problem is because the stroke is bigger and has the same size as the bore, which is 86 millimeters. This difference is in the engine capacity, which is 400 cc different. But what disappointed us is the final graph showing the 2JZ power is gradually decreasing. The other side for the RB26, let's look at it. As the RPM increases, the RB's power increases and continues to rise, unlike its rivals, whose power decreases at the end. This shows the two engines have different functions. For example, the 2JZ engine is more suitable on the highway because the 2JZ has a constant rotation at the bottom. As for the RB26, this machine is suitable for the track because it has a more linear power prediction and is easier to control. 
Okay, that's all for the power. Now let's check to the next part. Its undeniable 2JZ engine can store enormous power in every combination of engine components, even if we talk about the engine in its standard condition. But it's a shame for Nissan's RB26 not to make it like 2JZ. RB26 DETT is a pretty scary engine, even in standard conditions. Still, it becomes very not reliable and very draining of the pocket when we want more power from this engine. For example, the first time it appeared on Earth, this engine was applied in the Nissan GTR R32. And after that, there was a severe problem in the oil supply system. This can be said to be very complex and need further modifications to avoid oil leaks in the engine head area and the loss of oil in the crankcase area. As for the JZ, this engine has a thick block that makes it able to withstand expansion generated from the combustion chamber process, even up to 1,000 horsepower. Actually, the RB can also be pushed to 1,000 horsepower. The only problem is that this engine requires a lot of effort because it has to do a lot of replacement parts too. As for the JZ, it's enough to just replace the turbo and intercooler parts, and we can already feel the cruelty of this engine. We also don't have to worry about this engine breaking down when it's running. So because Nissan didn't want to lose to their competitors, Nismo took the initiative and gave birth to the GTR R34 Z Tune car only has 20 units in the world. Because this car comes with a high cost, which is obtained from using parts, especially to push the engine further. Now, we enter the third comparison, namely part availability. If we look at the incident just now, we think for this third comparison, 2JZ is superior. So why the 2JZ engine is superior in this third comparison? The reason? Because as we said in the previous video, this engine is not only used in Toyota Supra, including Toyota Alteza, Aristo, Crown, and others. So we don't have to worry about the parts used with this 2JZ engine. As for the RB26, this engine is only used with the Nissan Stagia and Skyline GTR. So, from here, it's clear the parts used with the RB26 are harder to find. And that's the information and comparisons we can give about these two engines, the 2JZ and the RB26 DETT. What do you all think? Which do you think you prefer? You can write your opinion in the comment column below. And for those who want to discuss some questions and provide criticism and suggestions, I am Courier and see you later. Yeah.